Okay, I think I've found a way... Um, this is a terrible intro, but I think I've found a way finally to make the bumper section a bit more consistent. And that's basically just going to be to jump on that one first. And it's going to make this tight, but I've found that if I'm very careful about when exactly I jump off, it's not so tight that it's undoable. Right? So that's a lot nicer now, huh? This is still going to be hell, though. So, um, hey, fellas, welcome to the last episode of Celeste I'm ever going to make. Definitely this is the last thing in the game. Probably. I don't actually know, though. This is going to be really fun for me, right? Um, headphone warning, just in case there's anything to unlock after this that I don't know about yet. Because it's fully possible there it is. And, um... I'm going to be screaming, <laughs> but uh, I honestly, I have my doubts. I don't see why there would be any of this, and honestly, I'm glad that I didn't think that Summit was the last seaside, because if I did, I would I would actually be kind of destroyed. Maybe maybe not right now, because this, this is being made like a long time after I did that, but okay, wonderful. It's... this is still kind of... Uh, I think it should be fine, though. I don't see why not. Okay, crap. Yeah. I still hate this section. Just for the bumpers. Everything else is fine, except I never get to it consistently enough that I can actually properly learn it, you know? But hey, this works. Crap. I jumped way too early on that. Alright. But you can see I am making steady progress at how to make this slightly more consistent. I get the feeling it's going to screw me over in terms of timing later somehow. Because why wouldn't it? But, you know, that's alright. It's perfectly fine. Also, I found out... Apparently, everybody hates these things, so I'm not alone. They just put them in the game for no dang reason, for fun, to, for the trolling. The Celeste devs do a bit of trolling, just a little bit. They do a little bit of trolling. I can appreciate a little bit of trolling, but this is a bit much, don't you think? We do be doing a little bit of trolling, though. Um, let's see. Ah, I did another pure horizontal right there. Second time in the episode that I've made it that far and I do another pure horizontal. I haven't actually gotten past that at all today. I did a bit of practicing before I came on. And I'm a bit satisfied with where I am. But I was not able to properly... Okay. I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to dash through that. I was not able to get through that block yet. I think after I get past it, I should be fine if I remember the rest of the section properly. Which I don't, because it's been a while, but... I think it ought to be okay. Because that's pretty much right at the end. So, yeah. Ought be okay, is what I'm saying. Please. I hate these damn things. <sighs> Sheesh. But, yeah. The goal is to make this not an hour-long video. Because I've already spent too much time on this and I have things to do today. But who knows how that's going to go, yeah? You can see how well it's going so far. Guess that worked out, huh? Yep, yes siree. And there's not much for me to talk about because I am not going to step in the garbage 
that would get me in trouble. Okay. 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 Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's fine. I did not wave dash properly at all there. But I'm honestly surprised I even got to the, um... The, uh, uh -huh -huh. the, the breakable section. Yeah, that's a bit pre that's a bit of pressure to put on me right there. I, I, uh, a bit of trolling, yeah? But, um, frick. I'm trying, I've, I, I saw a, a fun little diagram that was very helpful. Didn't take into account bangles hit this dang thing at, but it was basically that, um, to get proper, the proper angle on this dang thing, I have to be basically hitting it from the side with forward momentum already. So I have to be, like, real dang careful about where I hit it, because why the heck not? And you have to be, you have to already have a bit of momentum in the direction away from the thing you're trying to hit. Which is all fine and dandy when you're doing a dash, because of the way this, this I guess, is calculated. Because if you dash into it, and then you do the whole turn while you're dashing, um, that counts. But this does not count. That worked out, huh? Maybe? Maybe it did, maybe it did not. I'm not sure yet. It did! Alright. Let's see if it continues to work out for me. I get the feeling the answer may in fact be no. Just because why... <laughs> why would things work out for me? Are you kidding? Um, okay. Okay. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay. Ah, no. Uh, well, hey, I got there again, so I'm glad about that. Yeah. I'm just glad to get there at this point. <laughs> but I, sheesh, I don't like that. At least it's not three, huh? No, I, I only have to do two of them. Well, I would only be able to do two of them unless they had dash crystals in the middle. So, how about that? I don't actually know what the technical term for the crystals are, is, but... I'm gonna call them dash crystals, just because that makes sense for me. Why the heck not, you know? Why wouldn't they be called dash crystals, after all? Ah! Dang. Honestly, I'm at a point where I'm kind of, um, apathetic to the whole thing. Uh, because now that I can get past this relatively consistently, except of course I can't, um, I'd say I've maybe raised it to a bit less than a 50-50 shot that I can actually get past the dang bumper section doing things correctly. Because why the heck not? Why would I be able to get past the bumper section? How much you want to bet there's enough variability in just the way these things move forward and backwards that I end up hitting one while it's furthest back and um, getting to the other one while it's furthest forward. And so it just doesn't work out. Who knows? I don't know how this thing... I, I have my doubts that this the dang bumpers have like a consistent hitbox on the screen because they do wobble back and forth a little bit so you know let's just make the most inconsistent thing in the game even more inconsistent for fun this is so fun I said I wasn't gonna complain well I didn't actually say it. I was not gonna complain about the bumpers today but um, I said it to myself before I started it's like let's not complain about the bumpers today it's great content, but not really. <laughs> so, but, yeah, I mean, 
I've, I'm out of, um, you know, personal family matters and dirty laundry to air. So, I don't really have much to talk about. And just nothing is going on in, to, in a, the society today. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about current events. <laughs> I refuse. So, God. I don't know. I could, but that's not what the channel is. Um, so, yeah. I'm just not going to put myself into that situation. Uh, even addressing something like that. Um, watch, watch there have been like something terrible that happened on like the Wednesday before I, I put this out, and you're going to think I'm talking about that. Um, I'm just not going to explain what I'm talking about. About, or alluding to, you can probably guess, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to refer to anything that's going on because I don't really care all that much. A lot of things are very far removed from me and what I have to deal with, and likely were never something that I would have to deal with to begin with. Not on the basis of like identity, but action. I don't find myself really putting myself too far into s I did that too much too far into situations where I uh, have to deal with a lot of things that are debatable so lucky me eh um but, you know, I take responsibility for myself for the, for the most part so uh, lucky me eh I want to see how... What the heck happened there? Um, I want to see how the uh, top lava, once I get to the, the ro -ro 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 section, affects the lava later in the, uh, in the fun section. The top lava. The ice goals. Like, if I hit it right there... I wonder if this will be slightly easier once I get to the other section. Though it kind of doesn't matter because I'm still going to hit that like that. No, I guess so. Because the, the lava is slightly lower now. Yeah, a little bit. Noticeably so. Here's the fun part again. Uh huh. I was about to dash into spikes anyways, but I really wish that I could at least get a consistent downward dash to my dog, you know? I really don't need that bird to be chirping at me while I'm attempting something fatal. But whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's all fine and dandy. I'll make it. I swear. I'm going around the world in 80 days. God, can you believe they made a story about going around the world in 80 days? Like there weren't going to be planes that take you around the world in 24 hours at most? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Yeah. <laughs> uh, God, what a bunch of morons. <laughs> yes, I know. Anyways. God, I remember... That's always an, in that's always an interesting thing to think about, that, that like, this was... Something like, oh, imagine being able to go around the world in less than three months, you know? God, who who, who would think of such a, a fabricated myth, you know? But, it's interesting to think about. It took a long time to get anywhere, until relatively recently. How about that? That's another thing. I I don't know if I talked about this on the channel before, but I went to a museum not too long ago um, about uh, the glider core. It was in World War. I think it was World War Two. It's hard to say because all I remember is that they were fighting the Germans, and that doesn't narrow it down when we're talking about World Wars. <laughs> uh, but. Um, basically, it, it was probably World War One, I, I want to say, but they came up, um, basically you can tow a glider full of people behind a powered plane, 
and then it would silently glide behind enemy lines and let out a bunch of infantry men and stuff. Um, and then it was eventually, uh, I think it was helicopters made them um, kind of obsolete very quickly. We don't have a glider core anymore. There were only like, I think, four or five numbered air forces that were glider cores. Um, but, uh, it was, it, it was interesting to learn about because, I mean, the, the whole deal with helicopters is that you can kind of just set down, so being, being in a big old glider that crumples immediately on impact in a field, wherever you're landing, um, you go to crash, is what one of the guys said, um, you're flying to crash every single time. It's, it's interesting to learn about just what we did. Please let me live. Nope. Okay. What all was done in terms of warfare. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Just things, things kind of like that that are, are really recent history but are completely obsolete now. Interesting. I'm sure you could maybe bring them back, just for the sake of uh, for the sake of uh, tricking them out, just faking them out. Be like, oh, you thought we were gonna use something with an engine? Ha! Nah, we're we're flying this this hunk of plywood. Um, but at the same time, things like uh, sensors are a lot better now. So, ah, oh, come on! <sighs> that probably maybe wouldn't work out as well either. You're just, you know, a plane already is enough of a sitting duck in the air sort of flying duck. You know that thing that ducks do anyways. In terms of getting shot down, what better thing than a plane? It's not like a boat can get shot down. Well, kind of. Uh, anyways. Come on, please. I'm gonna make it. Okay. <laughs> but hey, stuff like that kind of gets me. It's amazing how far everything comes so quickly uh, in terms of um, innovation and convenience. I always, I always kind of think about. Uh, whether or not I'm gonna make the new thing that's so convenient it becomes ubiquitous with life. To not have it is something like, uh, like human rights abuse. Uh, isn't it Germany where internet is a human right or something like that? Isn't that kind of wacky? <laughs> there, there are there are people enslaved on this earth, right? And and but in Germany, internet's a human right, you know. Disconnect is kind of wacky, but yeah, <laughs> it really makes you wonder. Um, now I guess it wouldn't be difficult for me to talk to people that are older than me about like what all, what all there is that there wasn't. But even that, it's like if you're if you're alive now, you've got it pretty well for the most part, depending on your situation, of course. But it's it's still all subjective. I guess I did talk about like my father last episode. I'll maybe get around to timestamping that, but I probably won't. Let's be honest. I don't want to watch an hour of my content either. Why would I do that? People like other people don't even do that, and I'm the one that made the dang thing. But it's kind of things like that for me that um. What was I talking about? It things are really good right now, and they get better typically as time goes on. So talking about um, whether or not life will be good or bad seems kind of like a wacky question. Like, well, of course life's going to be good. Ooh, ooh, yeah! Life is so good right now. Yeah. <laughs>
Life is amazing at this current time. Yes. And... Game crash! Hell yeah! It only took me 20 minutes. Alright, I gotta, I gotta hop back into Celeste. Hopefully the game doesn't crash again while I'm doing this. Because if it does, I'm gonna be very sad. Game, don't crash. Also, if you can hear the blaring alarms in the background, I'm sorry. People really like holding the doors open at my dorm. I won't have that problem next year, but I might have roommates. Um, but I, they won't be living in the exact same room as me. So, so there's that. Is that it? Variant mode. What, what does that mean? Are we done? Did we do it? There's not a C side for this. There's not even a B side for this. I think we did it. Do we go to epilogue again? I don't know. How about that? <laughs> it only took me 29 hours. Almost 30 hours. Seasides, 3 hours worth of seasides. Very, very great. <laughs> Nice. We did it, guys. I think that's everything. I'm intrigued what the heck variant mode is supposed to mean. What does that mean? I'll look it up, and I'll maybe put it in the description. But for now, that's going to be everything. Thanks for watching guys, I really, I honestly enjoyed it, but, uh, and I'm honestly not sure what I'm going to put in after this either. Till next time though, like, comment, and subscribe. It's been a ride, fellas, but, uh, life is good and it only gets better. Unless you're like dying or something, in which case it'll get a little bit better before descending, but, you know. What? I saw a fucking meme. And it was just like a hydraulic crushing uh, freaking like ball toy that looked like James P. Sullivan from Monsters Inc. And it, as it did that, there was a quote that came up that said something along the lines of, um, Death does not concern us because at the point of death we no longer exist. Something along those lines. Because basically the only things that could should concern us are things in which we exist and death is the end of existence so it's an inevitability evidently we don't want to die but it shouldn't be really a main concern simply to continue being alive isn't that something for more profound thoughts continue watching Till next time, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will kill you. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.